So I wanted to give you a sneak peek at what the Red Pill team, Mark Smith and I, have been working on. Uh, this is a, a custom report designer, a custom chart designer, that uh, shows off the declarative nature of the Lookback API and the Luminize library and how you can create pretty much any chart you want without really writing any code. Um, so we've got a couple of predefined charts in here. We've got this P1, P2 count chart and this burn up chart um, as examples. And these are editable fields. You could, you could change, uh, you know, add something here if you wanted um, or, or edit these. So you can use these as starting points for your own playing around um, with, the, with the Lookback API and with the Luminize library. Uh, so, so a chart definition is made up of uh, a lookback query, and this is a, a very common lookback query. It honors project scope inside a rally. This was developed with the, the, the App SDK, a modified version. We had to modify it to clean up some bugs in the App SDK in order to get this to work. Um, we're going to try and get the App SDK uh, uh, updated and get this into the App Catalog eventually um, using the updated App SDK. Um, so you specify the query, honors project scope, you specify the fields and the hydrate. Then you, then you give it a timeline spec. And this is a Luminize uh, convention here. You say uh, what the granularity is. You want to end on this day. And you say what time zone. You say how many days back you want to go. You could also specify the start and the end. Or you can specify the start and the number of days forward from there um, as well. You can specify the work days. And, and we want to make this pull from workspace config. We also want to make the the time zones pull from workspace config as well. Uh, you can specify holidays to knock out and not count, and you need a couple different forms for specifying those. Uh, you can also specify non-work hours. If you have a granularity of hours, uh, you, can, you can filter out non-work hours as well. Uh, then you specify a transform. Again, this is all Luminize convention here. And this one is actually a callback function. So we have the P1 um, series. We're adding essentially a column to this uh, snapshot table. So if row.priority equals resolve immediately, then we're going to return one, else we're going to return zero. We're going to store all that in um, the P1 uh, column. And we do the same thing for P2 if it's equal to high attention. And then the aggregation spec, we say use that, that those fields we just created, P1, sum them, and then store the result in P1 count. And then you give the, the high charts a declarative specification. High charts was already declarative. Um, you tell it uh, essentially what to do with these series, what colors to make them, uh, whether you use line or column or whatever. Anything you can do in high charts, um, we support. I don't have zoom turned on there, but you can turn zoom on in high charts. We have hover on by default right, right now. But all the high charts functionality of knocking out uh, series is, is all supported there. And I'm going to pull up the burn up chart series here real quick and show you what that looks like. And it takes a second to, to calculate. This is pulling a full portfolio item hierarchy. This is happen actually happens to be an RPM um, portfolio item. Uh, so, and I hard coded it into the query to begin with. So that's the, the portfolio item in there. So another feature of this would be to prompt the user to input that with the right the right sort of picker. Again, we're getting pretty far down the road with that sort of functionality. But but this allows the programmer to at least see how to piece together a chart using these new tools. Um, and count of leaf stories is what it's based upon, um, and it'll, it, it just goes all the way down to the leaf stories. You could have done tasks or task hours or, or plan estimate, whatever you wanted to specify there. Uh, and again, the same functionality for knocking out series as well. So this is implementing one of the three currently supported chart patterns that Luminize supports. This is called a time series calculator. This is what the burn charts uh, use, and most of the charts in Rally actually use a time series calculator pattern that Luminize supports. Luminize also supports a group by pattern. That's what the cumulative flow diagram would use, or maybe a stacked area chart or st another kind of stacked bar chart you could generate using um, the, the, the Luminize uh, group by calculator. And then the time in, in state calculator as well, which is what the tip chart is based off of. There's a couple of other patterns we want to implement. They're not implemented in Luminize yet either. Um, and eventually we'll support all five of those patterns with a drop down here, and that might change the nature of the fields that get prompted here. There's also a couple of things that actually are supported by Luminize right now but aren't supported by this UI. You can post-process these series. So you could add a projection series to here, or you could add an ideal line to, to a, a burn down chart. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to all that. So the idea is to essentially turn this into um, a, an app that we put in the app catalog 
that would have the settings panels have all this specification. And maybe we can put a UI around things like the query, um, the advanced query component. Um, and then the front of the card, when you, when you close the settings panel, would just be the chart. And you could put these on the dashboard and configure them um, any way you want and save them and share them, just like you can other dashboard panel, panels now. So the Red Pill team is mostly focused on research with the SEI right now. So we've sort of put this on the shelf for a little bit. But as we get time, we'll come back to this. And, and um, if anyone wants to help us out with it and get it in the, in the app catalog uh, quicker, we, we'd love to have your help. So please give us feedback on this. Let us know what you think.